Hey everybody, what is up here and welcome back to the latest episode of this Godric Menston, my manager career mode. As you can see, we've just arrived here in Reading, guys. We've got our new house and it looks pretty awesome. If you guys haven't seen this yet, come on inside and take a look as we walk in here, guys. Our BMW is parked up inside. We're here renting this house in um, Reading and it's pretty big. Look around, guys. It's huge, this place at the moment. We've got £8,000 in the bank until we get our first paycheck this week. It's like a little maze in here going all through different rooms. There's a whole bunch of rooms I haven't actually shown you guys yet, but we'll, we'll be looking at those another time. And as you can see, there is Violeta in the kitchen. She is just having a, unpacking some boxes, unpacking some kitchen stuff and having a bit of relaxing time here, guys. As you can see, it's a nice sunny day here. We're paying a lot of money for this place. And uh, we're just gonna take a look around outside. And look, we've got a pool as well with some of Violeta's new friends who decide to go and sunbathe out there and we're just going to be heading back inside now as we finish off today guys Sunday the 30th we're just packing up here unpacking all of our boxes and here we are in the office with the board members guys and we're actually going to look through some of the objectives for this season the youth development here for Reading FC is grow two youth academy players at least 10 overall points as soon as they have grown played them in five matches and the long term is decrease the average age of the squad to 23 within three seasons which is a pretty interesting youth development target especially for Reading and as you can see the next one is the low priority brand exposure to sell out at least 85% of the league home games at least half of the league home games 85% sell outs and the financial long term goals are within three seasons increase the club's worth of your club by 100% and I think we're worth about 26 million at the moment and as you can see guys the main one domestic success is fight for promotion so we're going to make sure we do that as well as the round of 32 stage in the cup of the FA Cup as well because that's going to be interesting to see and no continental success needed for us in this league guys so it's pretty good here at Reading so those are our objectives for the season we'll be checking back in with those as we progress on through the season but as you can see we're just arriving back in our office the next day Tuesday the 2nd we're going to do a few bits and bobs on the laptop and uh, sort out a few bits in the season that for you guys to see as you can see we're on the laptop now we're hiring ourselves a scout we're going to find one that's going to be good for us good for the team i think this guy at the bottom here mason morgan we're going to sign him he's got five star experience four star judgment which is pretty good and we're going to set up a scouting network for him for the next three months somewhere uh, i think we're actually going to keep it close to home and select england because uh, i think it'll be a good idea to have some english players in the squad some young english talent if we can find any from the scouting so as you can see here we're going to set him up for three months in england for 114,000 pounds there we go there guys what do you think about that let me know your comments down below if i'm searching the right region maybe there's another region you want me these guys to search after the three months let me know in the comments down below as you guys um let me know in the previous episode of a position to sign we've been doing some scouting and you'll be seeing at the end of this episode so stay tuned for that which players we're scouting out to have a look at but guys we are here now on wednesday the third we're looking and we are about to go and meet the team for the first time which is going to be awesome we're going to finally meet the reading fc players and get into some training so we can kind of figure out who they are what they do and there they are guys all the players standing there ready to meet us here and just before we get into the training session and i'm going to be able to show you in every single um every single training what we're going to be training and who we're going to be training it for and there'll be snippets of the trainings that are going to be played by me as you can see here we've got danny loader for the first one guys we decided to do this one here this uh, little attacking scenario it's for him to do and it's quite cool here we're doing the adapt attacking scenarios just kind of just to just to work him up a bit on his shooting and stuff would be a really good idea and as you can see now we're on to um Puskas here the striker putting on his shooting as well just a solo shooting to see how they do because I just want to do a bit of training with each of these players to see how they do and see if we can boost them up guys if there's anybody in this Reading squad you'll get to see the rest of the squad soon who you think deserves to be boosted up in the trainings who we should focus on more let me know we got Olsi here as well one of the Reading youth players he's 17 years old he's 61 overall he's going to do some pacing here alongside some of the other players and hopefully we can get him in the squad as well he's 61 he's very young and he's very good same with Danny Loder the one we tried at the start they're both 17 years old so let me know if you want to see us using those guys as you can see we've also got the left back here Richards who is going to be training with us for now so we're just going to work on his uh, stats and trainings also any positional players that you guys think or any players in particular the youngsters or maybe someone we want to see getting more better at a certain position or a certain skill let me know who that's going to be and the last one here guys for training is john swift taking some direct free kicks as you can see just trying to work on our free kicks here with him trying to get them on target so that if we get a free kick in a game we may actually be able to put it in the back of the net because if we can do that that'll be ideal guys as you can see there not a bad performance from the training sessions there from all 
the guys. But guys, we are here on Thursday the 4th of July and we're going to be heading all the way to Italy for our pre-season friendly. As you can see here guys, we've got an email from the board saying we will be playing in Italy. We'll be playing against Santa Clara, Brescia and Standard Liège. So I'm actually big teams. This was the most expensive pre-season tournament we could go for in terms of prize money. So hopefully we'll get some out. And as you can see, we made the headlines in the local news saying Reading excited about the future with Manson. And there he is in the background, guys. So as you can see, it's going to be interesting here for this uh, preseason tournament to see how we do. Hopefully we can get a win in the game. We're just arriving here now in Milan in Italy, guys, in the evening. And as you can see, we're getting the lineup sorted out for you guys to see now. We've got Rafael, we got Magazzi there, we've got Puskas up front, Mete and Boy playing a 4-3-3 attacking formation, Swift. Algeria and a few other players in there as well as you can see we're just looking through the players and Swift is the one taking the free kicks Puskas taking the penalties we've got some interesting players in this lineup so hopefully we can use these guys and we can get a result here today as you can see guys it is game day we're here in the hotel room now we're about to head to the game and we're about to make our way on to the field for the first time as manager guys of Reading FC here is Godric Manston making his managerial debut in this friendly game for Reading FC and here we are getting the game under Away now guys we're away from home here we're all the way out in Spain we are Spain sorry Italy here in Milan and we're gonna be playing this game against Brescia who are an Italian team so this is their kind of home territory and uh, they've got the likes of Mario Bellatelli you can see in their number 45 he's playing it for them today and guys this is our first official game on FIFA 20 it's gonna be pretty awesome here hopefully guys just so you're aware the game is really different than FIFA 19 you'll experience this if you ever play it it controls it feels different it plays different and it took a lot for me to get used to it so please do apologize for my preseason results but we're gonna try our best as you can see here guys just getting the game underway kind of getting the feel of things but giving the ball away quite a lot and as you can see in the ninth minute now they've laid it through there and it's gone in the back of the net to make it 1-0 in this game in the tenth minute goal conceded by Reading. Unfortunately for us, Brescia have scored the goal and uh, they've gone 1-0 up here. It's quite an unfortunate little goal. The defenders weren't doing enough there to track the run and the ball just came through and he just taps it at the near post and it's gone in the back of the net to make it 1-0 in this game. Viviani there scoring the goal and unfortunately for us, we did not get the right defensive work for us going and as you can see we're restarting now here reading one nil down can we turn this around now another chance coming 25 minutes in it's going to be to the opposition team here can they get this one forward they're pushing this one down the right wing here they got across to the back post they're going to take a chance from balotelli and it's gone over the bar luckily for us and he has missed that one and guys here we come with the next chance once again for the opposition team no real chances yet for reading at the moment hopefully we can get some as we progress on into this game and a good tackle in there we get the ball back and here we come with the chance of our own now maybe the first chance of the game it's um puskas on the ball lays it there nicely to swift swift back to puskas he takes a good run on it and he's been taken down there as he was running through the defense and it might just be a yellow card yes and a free kick here guys it's going to be a free kick for john swift the man as you can see getting ready getting set up for this free kick i don't know if we've done enough training to figure out these fifa 20 free kicks just yet but we're gonna good give it a good go if we can if we can put this in the back of the net from this distance in this angle that would be amazing from john swift but i'm not expecting too much but guys here we are we got to get the spin right we got to get the power right and the timing there's so much to think about with these free kicks but can john swift put it in the back of the net from this distance runs up hits the shot and it's gone so far over and wide it's not something we want to look back on again. Here we come forward down with the next chance. 55 minutes in. A nice little touch there from the player. He's going through. Mete on the ball now. Pushing down the right wing here. We've got a really good chance to put this one into the box. Cuts around the player. Gets around it nicely with that fake. Can we get this one into the box to the near post? It's gone in and it's just gone past the defense and the striker. And guys, here we are in the 58th minute. Puskas, the striker being subbed off for the youngster, the 18-year-old or the 17-year-old Danny Loder coming on here up front and here we are carrying on with this game now loaded there getting his first touch to Mete and then we are working it around now we've got a good chance to lay this one forward can we do it now it's pushed forward there Danny Loder on the ball lays it back there to Ilajara and it's gone on wide of the goal a nice shot but not good enough now guys the left winger boy is coming off McCleary is on the pitch in the 69th minute of this preseason friendly we're getting some fitness in for the players and we're also trying to get a goal in this one we're still one nil down only one in the 75th minute but here comes the next chance look it's opened up the space here the keeper comes out to claim it completely misses it and the striker has gone and scored the second goal in this game unfortunate for reading the goalkeeper went out to claim it did not get it 
and it's paid the ultimate price. Look at this. Goalkeeper came out to grab it, slid down. The cross goes in anyway, and there is an open goal for a pretty average header as well. If anyone was there, they would have saved that. But unfortunately, it has gone in the back of the net from Donnarumma. The guys, for his first goal in the European International Cup, we are 2-0 down here. I don't know if we're going to be winning this one today, guys. It's a bit unfortunate for us at the moment. And here we come with the first chance, or the next chance in this half, guys. It's the 87th minute. We've got McCleary on the ball now. Looks to lay it back there to Loder. Loder on the ball, putting it forward to Obito, who's knackered. He takes the shot there. Can we get this one away now? We've got a good chance to get this one back. We've laid it back to Pele on the ball. Can we push this one forward? We've got a good chance now. Loder there to Swift. Swift takes a shot. Takes another one. Now nah, it's just gone wide. And he's injured himself. John Swift is down. Something to do with this calf. He is holding it. He is out of this game. He needs to be substituted off in the 89th minute. There's 10 seconds left to go. And John Swift looks like he's done some damage to his leg with that kick. And guys, we're going to have to bring on another player in his place. As you can see there, we'll bring on Joao. But guys, we're into the 91st minute. Almost I've finished this game in extra um, added time now. Unfortunately for us, it looks like it's going to be a 2-0 loss in the first game of the preseason tour here in Italy. But that's okay. There's two more games to play in the group stage at least. Hopefully we can turn this around in those games. If we can do that, we can grab some points, maybe head on into the knockouts. Otherwise, we'll be heading home and getting ready for the championship season. As you can see there, guys, 2-0 loss here to Brescia. And not a bad result. I mean, we didn't concede lots. We didn't get thrashed, but we did get beaten. So there's something to do with the squad. I, I feel like you guys suggested we needed a new striker. I honestly feel like we need wingers more than anything. The wingers I've looked at in our squad are not the best. And I think it's going to be something I'll be looking into. So as we head back to the hotel now, guys, we're actually going to be looking at some of the players we are going to be signing or trying to sign at least in the coming weeks and days. Guys, as you can see, we're in the hotel. We haven't stopped working since we arrived here in Italy. So we're going to sit down on the couch and enjoy some time relaxing whilst looking up some player statistics and everything. We also got an email from the physiotherapist saying John Swift is out with a torn quadriceps for three months. And as you can see here, guys, some of your suggestions from the comments in the first episode are up here. There's also some other players that I have searched as well. Some of them we cannot get, some of them we are scouting, and some of them we're gonna try and get on loan, like Rodrigo and Ferran Torres, because we obviously can't get them. But there's some players, guys, if there's anyone else you can recommend that plays on the either wing or midfield wing, then let me know in the comments down below because I'd really like to get some ideas of who we're going to be signing. As you can see, we've also loaned out Tommy McIntyre and Sam Walker as well to different clubs. And that is it for this episode, guys. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode of this preseason tour. While we're here in Italy, we're going to sign some more players. We're going to get some more games in. And we're going to have a great time. I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Peace.